In this video, we'll see how you can use NAN to represent missing or invalid values. NAN is a floating point constant that NumPy reserves and treats specially. For example, consider this array called bot, which contains two missing values. If you want to identify which elements of bot are NAN, you might be inclined to do something like bot equals equals np.nan, but the result might surprise you. NumPy designed nan so that nan equals equals nan returns false, but nan not equals nan returns true. This is because equivalence between missing or invalid values is not well defined. In practice, this behavior prevents silent bugs from creeping into your program. In order to see which elements of bot are nan, you can use NumPy's isNAN function. It's important to note that NAN is a special floating point constant, so it can only exist in an array of floats. If you try to insert NAN into an array of integers, booleans, or strings, you'll get an error or unexpected behavior. 